Look who came to visit. Hey. Hey, Mama. Do you see yourself in the camera? Do you see yourself in the camera? Oh, both socks just fell off. Of the babies. Of the baby. One of the babies. Gosh, she's wide awake. Oh, she's awake too. Aiden, did you get them right? Did you guess them right? No, he Oh, my God. Those shoes. They're new balances. Oh. They're so cute. I know. Oh my gosh, I love them. But they're a little big, but she'll grow in. Oh, wait, sure. are they for her? They yeah. have been. So did you get the babies right when you guessed, or did you breathe? Nope. Well, mm -hmm. I, I didn't know because she wasn't. She she has her you eyes wide open. You can tell that she's smaller. I know. She has her eyes wide open. Her just little. Her just a baby. That's her Lakeland. Eyes, her. Her eyes are wide open. But oh, oh, hands are oh. cold. I'm sorry. Either that or she's getting hungry. She's hungry. Oh, okay. And my hands are cold. Go ahead, baby. I'm listening. I was trying to, I was trying to talk to her. She kept just looking at Riley and stuff. I said, "Which was that?" She said, "Brooklyn." I said, "Oh, okay, that's fine, because it's my baby." Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to visit. I feel like I haven't seen you forever. <coughs> I know. See. Are you getting a cold? No, it's the pollen. Oh. We were outside hey, hey. And, hey. and like Not their eyes have been watering and draining. Ashton's eyes have been draining. Like Aww. it's we just we're all a hot mess. Yeah. We didn't tell them or her. Tell them what? My team. Oh yeah, he made an advance team. Really? He did and he got the coach he wanted. Who? Adam. Coach Adam. Has he had him before? No. Oh. But, but he, he used to um he helps coach, train train yeah, him. He used he used to coach the team during practice with okay. our practice. He used to coach that team. Really? Mm -hmm. I really so, like him. Super nice. What age? Toby. Okay. Again. You hear her? Look at her age. I'm, I'm gonna be defensive. Yeah, he's gonna go back to defense. I told him this time. What did he say? I think he's good at defense. But I'm a left defense. Yeah, ain't it wrong with that? I'm here. Hey, you did it. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to hold her. She wants you to hold her. You going to take her for a walk? Are you taking her for a walk? Is she a puppy? Oh, don't cry. Her puppy dog? Charlotte needs a bath. If I don't give her a bath soon, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to lose my mind. She has got, look at her face. Oh, I forgot to give her a bath. Is she getting hungry too? Also. Oh, no. You're just winging it. I'm just feeding her and crying, I guess, at this point. That's all right. I think it's okay. Don't cry, please. No, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. So we got the game going, watching Chris and all them play right now. This is their second day of playing. But like the bottom just fell out and I feel terrible because Barry just left to like run to the bank and grab some food for everybody. Because Aiden has got practice tonight and now he's got to get out in this mess to go get food and stuff. Holy cow. I hope this slows down. All right guys, I'm gonna do a little update um, on how I'm doing. Today is day 11, I believe it's day 11. I've taken multiple days off throughout the recovery process just because there's a lot of days. I'm just doing good to edit and get a vlog up, I feel like. Um, 
I mean, I'm feeling good. It's not that I'm not feeling good, but my energy is just, you know, bad. Like on my shower days, as I call them, it wipes me out. I'm so tired by the time I'm done. I can't do anything else. Um, also, I am experiencing what I would consider a complication. I don't know if it's a true complication yet, and we really don't know until I get to talk to my doctor. Um, and I think they want me to come in next week. I wasn't supposed to, but they want me to come in next week so they can take a look at what's going on. I did send pictures to them um, to kind of tell them what's happening and what I've noticed and what is it type situation. Um, I had noticed ever since surgery, well, not right after, but a few days later, I developed what looked like a crease about, I don't know, inch and a half, two inches on the top of my stomach, right in the center. It's just a little crease, like it's dented in. Nothing, no big deal. I didn't think nothing of it. I was like, oh, it'll, it'll smooth out, and it probably will. But I noticed behind it, my muscles, like the straight down the middle, like I was telling you guys how tight it was, it was super, super tight. And I've been working really hard, like on my stretches and trying to, you know, get myself walking straight up. And if you noticed this morning when I was making the bed, I was more hunched over. I don't know if you could tell or not. I had to keep taking breaks because my back was killing me. Um, I've noticed that the tightness has just gotten worse, not better. It's gotten better at the very, very top, but worse a little lower. And what I noticed yesterday or the day before, I think it was, probably was it yesterday or the day before? That I sent the pictures yesterday? I think it was yesterday. yesterday I, think. Um, I was in the bathroom and I had used the bathroom and as I was putting my garment back on, I looked at my stomach and where that little dent, the little crease looking thing was, was a band like sticking out of my stomach going all the way from that crease down to my belly button on one side. I'm going to try to insert a picture so you can see where the band is like sticking out and you can see the crease when I'm relaxing my stomach. You can see that crease, but when I like try to stand up straight, that band that pops out. And it's super hard. It feels like a cord. I don't know what it is. So I, of course, sent pictures to my doctor and the nurses and everything and they got back with me. They called me actually and told me it looked like cording. Um, which is something that definitely happens after you've had a breast lift or liposuction or anything like that. You can get this stuff called cording, and it literally feels like, she said, a tendon under the skin that will not stretch out. Like, it's just really tight, uncomfortable. I said, that's exactly what it is. Well, she told me that they wanted me to continue what I was doing, and if it's no better, they'd like for me to come in. Or if it starts to swell more, gets bigger, anything like that. I told her, okay, no problem. Well, today, I've been walking around kind of hunched over all day because, honestly, that is what's felt the best to me. That has worked, and that's what I've gone with. And I emailed them again this morning. I'm like, sorry to bother, but is it better to not stretch it out right now since it's almost like it's inflamed or something? And is it better just to stay hunched over, or is that going to really hurt my posture in the end if I don't try to stand up straight? And they wrote me back and said they would like for me to continue doing my wall exercises, standing up as straight as I can, and really stretching it out. But you guys, after I get a shower and I've done so much movement and I've stretched that, what I call a tendon, it's not, it's a cord. I've stretched it so much, like tonight, I am in so much pain. I cannot stand up straight. Um, I can barely stand up at all, hardly. I'm very bent over. And the more I try to straighten up, the tighter it gets. Now, when I'm sitting, it's not bad. Yes, it pops out. I can feel it. But I can sit very straight. Like, I'm sitting very straight. Like, you wouldn't know I just had surgery. But to stand up is a whole nother story. That's when I'm all hunched over and I just can't get my posture right. So, I am having that. Like I said, I don't know if I would call it a complication. I don't know what it is. Because they make it sound like it will go away eventually on its own. Briley did some research online. And if it is truly a cord, like they say, massage is going to be your best benefit. And you might have to go through a little bit of physical therapy to get that band worked out. And what stinks about mine is it's right in the center. And it feels like it's pulling on my abs. So I can't stand up straight. I don't know. That's why it worries me. Is it my stitches? Is something snag? Is something caught? Is something too tight? What is it? Because she made the mention, just keep an eye on it because if it keeps swelling, it could mean that I've got something too tight in there. 
And when she said that, the first thing that came to my mind is, I'm going to have to get reopened to fix it. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Because Briley just said there's tons of things they can do with lasers now where they can put lasers on the stomach and it can release a lot of things and fix problems. So I'm not trying to think the worst, but of course, you know, with me, as with anything, I always think the worst. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, you know. Um, I was not expecting this to be a smooth recovery. I already told you guys that. I was expecting to, you know, it be painful and difficult. But this was a bump I wasn't expecting. I knew nothing about it. This is all completely new. And I'm just trying to figure out what it is. And am I doing right by stretching it out? Or am I messing up by stretching it out? They say I'm not doing anything to damage it. But by the afternoon, I'm just in so much pain and bent over that I feel like I've just overworked it all day. And I haven't even stood up a lot today straight. Because the very, like the very beginning of the morning up until probably 2 o'clock, I hadn't even sent an email yet. So I was walking bent over most of the day. And literally, I did one wall exercise. I'm supposed to do four a day. I've done one, actually two. I've done two so far. After the first one, I was done. I could no longer stand up straight again. So... It is concerning. I feel like I'm never going to have my posture back. And I know this is probably just something that is just temporary. But I'm freaking myself out because I'm just ready to be back to myself. I got a bath today by myself. My shower. Did everything myself. It did take all day, it felt like. I mean, I probably started, I don't even know, maybe 1130. And I finally finished up. I honestly don't even know. It was probably around 130. And I know that sounds insane. But I get in the shower, and then it takes me a while in there because I'm not actually in the water, and I'm trying to get everything clean. And then I get out, and then I sit down, and I dry off. And then I brush my hair sitting down. Then I have to brush my teeth, and I do a lot of this sitting. Then I stand up and try to, like, do other things, and I have to sit down and do my lotion. And then I sit down and blow dry my hair. And it's just a huge ordeal. As you see, this is what I ended up wearing as my outfit today, my robe, because I never made it to get clothes on. It's not that I can't or I'm just so tired I can't put clothes on. It's just I'm to the point of what's the point? You're not going anywhere type mode. Then why even get dressed, you know? So that's the only thing right now that is concerning. Um, I did have my tape start to pull away on both corners, and we looked at it, and it's really gross. Oh, it's really gross. So I added extra tape to put it back down because I'm not supposed to change my tape until the third week. Um, and if I can make it to later the third week, I want to wait as long as I can before I change it because I have to change it myself. And I told that lady at the doctor's office, I said, I have to change it. Oh, no, ma'am. I can't do it. I said, I'm never going to be able to change it. I'm such a baby about that stuff. But I'm hoping I have enough nerve. She said, get in the shower, get it really like saturated and just go slow. I'm so dreading it, you guys. I'm so dreading it. So stay tuned for that vlog. That's going to be another hot mess one. But um, I think it would be nice to change it as well because it is really nasty. It just keeps getting wet. There's just dried stuff on it. You know, it's just gross. It just it needs to be changed. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not looking forward to having to do it. I should say that. Um, but I'm trying to think anything else. I, I would say that's the newest thing. Everything up top has pretty much been the same. Everything's still very itchy and just healing. My liposuction is still killing me. All the sides are killing me. I feel like today, though, this morning, I wouldn't have said it, but right now at this moment, I am not as sore up here where I've been massaging so much, doing this right here so much. And honestly, I need to start massaging all this down here. I've noticed it's really weird in my back. I can feel like lumps and bumps, and they just feel like hard mass under the skin. She told me if I feel any of that, I need to massage it out. So I really need to start taking care of the lower half. But I'll be honest with you, my stomach gives me the heebie-jeebies. And that's only because I don't like belly buttons. And if I could explain what my stomach feels like right now, it feels like I have a board or like a piece of foam or something or silicone stuck to my stomach. So when I bend over, like a section of my stomach, what feels like about this big right here is just so numb it feels like I literally have something stuck in my skin, like it's not my stomach. And if you touch it and feel it, it feels like dead skin, like it's just odd, you know. Um, it is starting to wake up. Like I can feel all from like my belly button up and I can feel my sides and my back. But that very center right there where my belly button is, I cannot feel. And it's weirding me out so much. Um, today, I actually was like, I feel like I needed to scratch. Like it was itching. 
and I went to scratch and I could not feel me scratching. So it was the most, it was almost like it was itching on the inside out and I couldn't feel it. It was the weirdest thing. So I will say that that outer body experience has kind of been odd and like my belly button already gives me heebie-jeebies before surgery. I just don't like belly buttons. And um, to, I don't even like looking at it right now. It looks good. I've looked at it. I have to keep a check on it. I have to clean it and all that. But it's so hard for me to do. Like I literally have to just get up the courage and be like, hey, just do it. Five seconds, go. And I get it done and I leave it alone. When I go to use the bathroom, I literally put on a shirt that covers my stomach to go because I don't want to see my stomach. It is just, until it is all woken up, I'm going to have a hard time with it. And I, I knew this going into it. This is nothing new. I don't do good with certain things. I was the same way with my C-sections. Like until my stomach woke up at the bottom, I couldn't deal with it, couldn't doctor it. I didn't want to even deal with it. And that's just something that's a me thing. It's a me thing. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm going to go upstairs and massage that band or get Briley to. I keep telling her she's going to do it because I just can't stand to touch it. But I'm going to do it. The good thing is most of it's in the upper region and I have feeling there. So it doesn't bother me. It's only the skin that feels like it's not alive. You know, it's just not working. It's not woken up. And it's just hard and weird. And it feels like I got like fake skin that's the best way to explain it. But anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I know it's kind of a crazy one. They're going to be crazy until I'm actually living again and doing things. But yeah, that's your update for today. And try to come back for the next vlog. And I'll let you guys know how I'm doing then.